Lizzie Kaplan is promoting the third season of Masters of Sex. As you may remember, I flat out loved the first season of MOS and I absolutely loathed the second season, where the writers tried to go down some mad esque plot twists that didn't have much to do with anything. It was one of the biggest sophomore slumps I've ever seen. I have every hope that season 3 will be better though, judging from the preview. Bill Masters and Virginia Johnson finally get around to presenting their findings, which should help the plot along. Anyway, to promote the third season, Lizzie Kaplan sat down with Playboy for their 20 questions. You can read the full piece here. She chats about feminism, on-screen nudity, what women tell their girlfriends and why she loves a man in tidy whiteies. Her male co-stars doing nudity, I don't think Michael Sheen does this, but definitely most of the guys who take their shirts off do push-ups or lift weights. The super-cut guys have these intense regimens. Not only do they work out all day, but they also don't drink any water and they swallow diuretics for one day. That doesn't sound great. I guess it's just as bad for the boys. They're as vain as we are. Whether it's gotten better for women since the 1950s, the tough pills that women are expected to swallow have gotten better, but it's naive to think we've come that far from the 1950s. Women are still expected to accept a lower paycheck than a man for the same amount of work. And what about the difficulties every working mother faces? The stigma of leaving her child with a caregiver versus staying home and giving up her own dreams. There's nothing on our show around the feminist issues that I don't feel has a huge echo today. If anything, it makes me angry about today. I've never said this out loud before, but I don't know if we'll get there in my lifetime. Until we can convince our own side, women, that this is a good thing for all of us, I don't see how we stand a chance convincing all the men.